Today is Monday, a little cloudy still. Yesterday was Sunday, rain all day, which was perfect. And lots of you guys asked me to give you an update, so I will. This is what happened on Saturday. The whole crew of guys, there was like eight of them, came in here, planted these evergreens for me. They're, they're set about five feet apart and they grow very wide. They, they, they will grow tall as well, but the idea is to create a wall here. So they're gonna start, you know, touching each other eventually. So it kind of gives us a separation between me and a neighbor here because this house is actually pretty close. Uh, all the other houses are far away, but... So yeah, that's the idea with this stuff. And then I got this beautiful river birch here that it's like a centerpiece now in front of my house. Um, it's got four, four trunks on it. It's about 13, 14 feet tall at the moment, but eventually it will probably grow to about 30, 40 feet. They're usually about 30 feet, uh, but beautiful centerpiece. I love birch. It gives that nice accent, you know, with that white bark. But let me show you what happened in the back. Lots of you asking, what, update, update, please. Uh, how did the back turn out? So I'll go there in a minute. But first, see these? These are called uh, cattails. And I dig out about a total of 10 of them. There's like a retaining pond right around my neighborhood here, like a drainage for overflow uh, rainwater. And there's lots of that marsh around that pond and these cattails are going growing there like crazy so i went out dig out a few of them about 10 of them that i'm going to plant around my creek there's specifically one area that i want to plant them because it's always like when the creek rises when we get a lot of rain and then goes down it's like a muddy slushy area so i want to and these spread really quickly within a couple years we should have a nice uh, coverage with these cattails and my wife loves the brown cattails uh, by the end of the, you know, in the middle of the season they get brown and then they, they, they're just pretty cool looking. So let me, let me go there and show you what happened in the back and where I'm gonna plant these. Check out this beautiful grass. It rained yesterday like crazy all day, which I needed big time. But uh, I'm very proud how this grass is turning out after a couple seasons and really taking care of it, putting lots of uh, different folderizers on it. So, and right here against the house, I got these wild firs that I'm gonna plant. They nicely spread too. I wanna have that area here full of these firs. Love these, yeah, so. But let me show you what, what happened here in the back. Can you guys see it? Look at that area all leveled out nicely the guys br brought a bunch of pulverized dirt nice clean dirt spread the seeds and then uh, they roll the blankets on top of it so it keeps the moisture and so the birds don't eat the the seeds as well but mainly for moisture purposes and it turned out really, really good. Better than I expected. It was uneven, lots of roots. And so they grind, they grind a bunch of stumps and stuff in here. But they did it all in one day, amazing, you know? And the fire pit that I had here right in the middle, that I took it out. All the rocks from the fire pit are laying right there. And they leveled that out and yeah, looks, looks good. So, here's the area that I'm talking about. And actually I want to cover this pipe too. This pipe runs all the way underneath the ground, all the way behind the house, around the corner by the garage. That's when my sump pump kicks the water out and it's all connected and it runs all the way down here and shoots out clean water from a... You can even see a little bit coming down right now and that goes all to the creek. So what I want to do, this area right here, it's always like this marsh area, right? And always muddy. You can't really walk on it, it's very soft. When the creek rises, the water spills out here. So these uh, cattails would be perfect to be planted throughout here and they're gonna quickly spread. So that's the idea. But yeah, this uh, this turned out beautifully here. 
I don't want to walk too much. It's like a sponge walking on this now. Soft, nice soft dirt, but. Yeah, but check this out. Didn't this look good? Huh? Had that big stump right here. That got taken out. That was probably about total, I'm not kidding you, 15 or 16 stumps here. You know, from little ones to small ones. Even, even stuff like this when I cut down, it had a little stump, you know? So they did a tremendous job here. This is gonna be beautiful when it starts growing and yeah, a little bit, a little bit extra, a little bit extra of uh, grass cutting. And I'm gonna have to get in here in some areas with a weed whacker. But uh, I think it's gonna turn out really good. And then originally I had a fire pit right there. We're gonna move it down here right in the center, I think. Because I have an open area for us, you know, no trees above it, so we can put a fire pit right here. Yeah, I think it's gonna be amazing. Turn out really, really good. Now I gotta do a little bit of cleanup back there because lots of roots they dragged into the back there. I even want to drag them farther in so they can rot back there somewhere, you know? Big project was here, but it's done. I'm extremely happy how it turned out. Very happy. See, I have this area here by the house that I already have a few of these cattails growing here. They started growing by themselves, see, right here? But I don't want to disturb him. Originally I was like, oh, maybe I'll move him from here and put him back there. But this area gets kind of wet too between my house and my neighbor's house. When it rains a lot, right in the middle, sometimes we get, when it rains, like when it's pouring, we'll get a little creek runoff of the street. And this, all this area gets wet and then obviously goes into the creek. So actually I can leave him alone here and let him spread. So, yeah, it gets so wet that I had one, two, they're gone, three, four, I had five blueberries planted here and it's too wet for them. They, uh, they kind of died off. They were okay for about a year or maybe even two seasons, but last, uh, last fall, it was too wet here. They didn't survive. Look at all these chips. Gotta clean that up. They grind this big, big stump that I hear. This is a tree that was removed last uh, last year and I had, this was like three feet in diameter. So they grind this one uh, down for me. So I gotta remove all these chips now, clean it up here. But yeah, I think it's looking really nice. We had a, such a harsh winter too, or that this magnolia, I think, is dying on me. I planted this already three years ago and it was fine for two seasons. And these seasons, it started putting the little flowers out, but there's no leaves. It looked like, looks like it's dying. I don't know, something happened at the bottom there. That burk of the bottom piece looks like it's some something has been chewing on it so i don't know if that caused it or we just had a rough winter and this thing died you know look at the nice tul tulips yeah we had a freeze here a couple days ago beginning of may and you get some cold weather harsh and look at these guys they were so nice look at them they got we covered them but still they got a little bit burned on the cold weather look at the first one this one wasn't covered that good and look at this guy man that sucks i don't want to bore you guys too much with this landscaping stuff but you know it's very enjoyable it's very it's very cool when you can do stuff around the house and it looks good so the guy who was planting these trees for me he runs a landscaping company and he told me to go get these these spikes um feed all season long without runoff he told me they work very very well for freshly planted like evergreens and stuff so he says he uses them all the time around his property i don't know if you guys ever uh, use this kind of system or setup that you put in these spikes with a full horizon with them kind of curious i never did this i wonder how efficient it is it's better than you know spreading 
but sometimes you will spread like a folderizer around the trees and you'll kill the grass around it so um, yeah if you guys use something like this let me know in a comment kind of interesting very simple and you just poke them into the ground and let them be and they slowly dissolve so all right guys i'm not gonna bore you anymore with any planting and landscaping stuff but uh many of you ask about the update what happened with the with my project so there it is thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one cheers